Hello everyone, I'm Yanling from first year. I will show the summary of projects I did during first year using Google Earth. I will take you into a journey to different corners on the Earth to see how we adapt nature from cultivation to inhabitation, from present to future. The journey starts from where I'm located right now. I'm here in Shanghai in a hotel for 14 days quarantine nearby Pudong Airport. From here, I'm taking you to the other side of the world, the south part of Chile. A salmon farm facility located at Las Lagos is our first destination. The project focuses on researching the contemporary food production infrastructure. Here is the set plan of the farm. On Google Map, you will be able to see a couple photos of the salmon farm. The research covered a range of contexts linked to this farm, including salmon producing, processing, and transporting. The salmon eggs will be set in the fresh water for half a year, then transferred into seawater for about one to two years. When they are ready to harvest, salmon will be transported through pipes into factories for food processing. Processed salmon fish will be shipped out mainly by boat, and fresh salmon are shipped by air. The orange arrows showing the flow of salmon, the green arrows showing the food flow that will be feed for salmon. Most salmon facilities are located in the south part of Chile. Chile is the second biggest salmon exporting country, with their salmon mainly exported to United States, Japan, and Brazil. Norway is the biggest salmon exporting country, with their salmon exported to Europe and the US. I did charts and diagrams compared between those two countries. After seeing how we cultivate nature, let's see how we are living. I'm taking you from South America back to Asia again, and this time we are landing at the suburb of Tokyo, where the land is occupied by dense residential buildings. The project redesigns Mariama House with a collective living space and aim to maximize the contacts with nature in Central City. Here is the photo of Mariama House taken by Dean Kaufman. I made a model of half of Mariama House showing how each room is separated as a single building, blurring the boundary of inside and outside. As you can see, the dining room is located in the garden. And the big windows in each room add more transparency to the building. I added a collective dining space under the central garden, the U-shaped dining space that can be used both as a table and a sitting area with a landscape in the middle. The entrance getting into the standing area are connected separately from different buildings. I also designed a rooftop garden-style dining space located about second floor high with an opening in the center to visually connect to lower garden. The illustration shows how the community occupies the space. Have you ever imagined how living with nature may transform in the future? I'm going to show you my imagination by taking you to Thames Ford in UK. The project remakes one tower from Red Sun Towers proposed by Cedric Price. Here is the photo of original Red Sun Fort showing on Google Map. The tower I remade is Fan City Tower. I imagine in the future the world is highly polluted and the people are seeking for nature contact. So the tower takes people away from polluted world to go back to nature for primitive enjoyment. Different levels are designed for different density activities. The top level is for high density activities, so people can gather together for sky gazing. The lower level is for mid high density, and is an orchard for flowers and fruit picking. Next level is even more closed for petting and breeding animals. The lowest level is under the water for sea life observation. Last but not least, I'm taking you to our last destination. Let's go back to Bedford Square and hope to see you there soon. Thank you.